Hi and welcome to another GC Mysteries video where this time we are looking at the tragic murder of Sarah Payne. So the little girl you see on your screens now if you are from the UK you will recognise her as Sarah Payne. Now she was born on the 13th of October 1991 um, but unfortunately was the victim of a high profile abduction and murder in West Sussex in England in July 2000. Now we're not sure what day exactly she died, um, all we know is that it was around the 1st of July and she was aged 8 when she was murdered. Um, now we don't even know fully what her cause of death was all we know is that she was either strangled suffocated or a combination of both so we can't say for sure that she was, uh, was suffocated we can't say for sure that she was strangled and therefore died as a cause of asphyxiation um, so there's a lot really we don't know now her disappearance and the subsequent murder investigation became a prominent case in the United Kingdom as did the campaign for changes to child protection uh, legislation which resulted from her murder now her murder was called Roy Whiting he was convicted in December 2001 and was sentenced to life imprisonment however Roy Whiting had form um, it doesn't look like he had form for murder however on the 4th of March 1995 an eight-year-old girl, same age as Sarah Payne, coincidentally, was abducted and sexually assaulted in the Langley Green area of Crawley. Now, Whiting was arrested several weeks later after a man who knew Roy Whiting came forward after hearing that the abductor's car had been a Red Ford Sierra, which matched the description of the car that Roy Whiting had just sold. Uh, the vehicle was then traced by police to its new owner and a knife was found hidden in it. The victim had claimed that her abductor had told her he had a knife in his possession. Uh, and on the 23rd of June 1995 Roy Whiting admitted charges of, of abduction and indecent assault and was sentenced to a poor, poor four years in prison. The maximum sentence for that crime was life imprisonment. However, the judge decided to give him four years because he had admitted to the crime at an early opportunity although a psychiatrist who assessed Whiting after his conviction even said that he was likely to re-offend once he was released and re-offend he did he was actually released from prison in November 1997 having served two years and five months of his four year sentence and was one of the first people in Britain to go on the sex offenders register. Um, now he had been forced to serve an extra five months in prison before being released on license 
as a penalty for refusing to undergo a sex offenders rehabilitation course. He then moved 25 miles away from Crawley to Little Hampton on the West Sussex coast upon his release. Now if the courts and the justice system had have listened to the psychiatrist the sorry the psychiatrist who assessed uh, Roy Whiting after his first conviction and said that he was likely to reoffend once he was released. Sarah Payne would probably still be alive today and we wouldn't be talking about this case now because had the courts and the police listened he would have probably still been in prison in July of 2000 meaning that Sarah Payne wouldn't have come to the end that she did uh, so basically at the time of Whiting's release there was more protection for Whiting than there was for other children which is sickening uh, but that unfortunately is the justice system that we've got um, but he was sentenced to life imprisonment for the murder of Sarah Payne but as I've said if the justice system had been stronger and took more notice of the courts um, you know uh, and also took more notice of psychiatrists and psychologists you know then Roy Whiting wouldn't have even been out of prison in July of 2000 Sarah Payne would probably be somewhere in life today um, and that's what makes this one sad I think is that if the courts had have listened to the psychiatrist that um, assessed Roy Whiting um, he wouldn't have been released when he was now as for the murder investigation into Sarah Payne Roy Whiting was first questioned about the disappearance of Sarah Payne which had taken place within five miles of his little Hampton seafront flat some 24 hours after she went missing Whiting was routinely questioned as he was known to local police as a convicted sex offender and police first visited Whiting's flat on the afternoon of the 2nd of July 2000 but he was not there the police returned that evening and questioned Whiting for over an hour before leaving now soon after questioning Whiting walked to his van but was actually stopped by undercover police and arrested he then sent so it spent two days in custody but at that point there was no evidence to press any charges on him and he was released on bail um, now police had found a receipt for fuel from Buck Barn Garage on the A24 not far from Coolham where one of Sarah Payne's shoes was found this also contradicted his alibi of being at a fun fair in Hove at 5.30pm and then returning to his flat by 9.30 p.m. on the night that Payne had disappeared. After his initial arrest, Whiting did not return to his little Hampton flat and went to live with his father in Crawley. 
uh, and on the 20th of July, which is three days after Sarah Payne's body was found, a she was recovered from the roadside in the village of Coolham, three miles from Pulborough, and identified as one of those belonging to Sarah Payne. Now, on the 23rd of July 2000, Roy stole a Vauxhall Nova in Crawley and was pursued by police at speeds of up to 70 miles per hour before crashing into a parked vehicle. Whiting was arrested and uh, on a charge of dangerous driving but this time he was remanded in custody until the 27th of September uh, 2000 when he admitted taking the car and driving dangerously uh, and was jailed for 22 months. Now after Whiting began his jail term for that car theft and the dangerous driving, detectives carried out forensic tests on his 1988 white Fiat Ducato van which he bought on the 23rd of June 2000 and on the 6th of February 2001 following a police inquiry Whiting was charged with the abduction of murder of Sarah Payne which he was convicted of now if you want to learn more about Roy Whiting you can search his name or search Sarah Payne or the murder of Sarah Payne or even Sarah's Law in all the usual places and you should be able to find everything you want but Sarah's Law did work and has protected children more so ever since. Thank you for watching this GC Mysteries video. If you liked it, please like, subscribe and click the notification bell. If you can, support us on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash GC Mysteries. See us on Facebook and Twitter, GC Mysteries. And bye-bye for now.